Why pick Spanish or French as a GCSE? By taking a language at GCSE, you'll have amazing skills and a valuable talent that's applicable to almost everything you do. So it's quite a handy subject, really. A language GCSE builds on what you've already learnt in years 7, 8 and 9, and you probably know more than you think. Language classes are very interactive with lots of opportunities for you to personalise what you want to say. You'll easily and rapidly notice the improvements that you make in your foreign language. Plus, by taking a language GCSE, you don't just learn the language, you get to find out about other people, countries and cultures, so it really is an interesting and varied subject. When you start in Year 10, you'll be building on the language you picked up in Key Stage 3, so there will be a lot that's familiar to you already. GCSE topics include, for example, your school, your family and where you live, as well as your free time, food and drink, and the customs of the countries where the language is spoken, all topics that you learnt in Key Stage 3. But beyond that, you'll be learning about new, more grown-up topics, such as the pros and cons of social media, environmental problems and social issues like homelessness and poverty. After GCSE, languages mean business. Being able to speak a language will make you really stand out. It's really impressive to be able to speak a foreign language. It's a real achievement that your friends will envy and employers will love. You can understand and talk to lots more people when you go abroad, as you will have improved your communication skills hugely. Using a language at work could raise your salary from 8 to 20%. And languages are good for you. Speaking more than one language increases your brain capacity, improves your memory, and you'll be less at risk of developing Alzheimer's in the future. Once you have a GCSE language qualification, you can start that language in the sixth form as an A-level and then use that as a stepping stone to any other language at university if that's what interests you. Some of our past students have gone on to learn Arabic, Swedish, Italian, Portuguese and Korean among other languages. In years 10 and 11 you will have five hours per fortnight of GCSE Spanish or French plus homework time. If you choose both languages, you'll have five hours for French and five hours for Spanish, a luxury compared to the time you had at Key Stage 3 if you were a dual linguist. Remember, the only students who can opt for French are those who have been studying it in Year 9, otherwise you need to select Spanish. We welcome dual linguists. If you're currently studying both languages and you want to continue, opt for both. So what are you waiting for? If you are prepared to work hard and try your best, and everything I've said appeals to you, Opt for a language at GCSE.